So far in two days, Nell Snedzer from Minneapolis, Minnesota has racked up a total of $18,040 in cash and prizes. Find out today if he can add more to it on Sale of the Century. Today, one of these players can win a large screen television, a pool table, elegant jewelry, or a fabulous dream vacation and continue a journey toward cash and prices including a brand new car and $50,000 in cash. In total, over $100,000 up for grabs today on Sale of the Century. And now, here's your host, the star of Sale of the Century, Brandon Scrub. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into another edition of Sale of the Century right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. Well, we've had a two-day champion who's done quite well with us here on the show so far, and he's back to see if he can pick up win number three today, Mr. Nels Nesrod. Hello, I'm great to be back here today. And booing section full toe, as I see. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, I can't get rid of them. I... They, they can boo you all you want, but you could, but you could laugh at them knowing the fact you have over eighteen thousand dollars in cash and prizes so yeah. far in your bank. So that's not bad, sir. Yeah. Hey, oh, I can I can wow. Cock. Okay, apparently volatile audience today. I saw the yeah. Seamus, bump up the security level. We might need it. Anyway, we've got two other players that are going to try to see to take that championship from you. Let's meet him now uh, with the help of my co-host, Mr. Jason Myers. Might need to bump up security here at this time, too. Uh, uh, anyway, it's playing against Nels in this episode from Cincinnati, Ohio. He's a truck driver. Please welcome Kevin Henry. Welcome, man. Why, hello, Woo! Brandon. And his other opponent, also from Cincinnati, Ohio, he's a minister. Please welcome Russ Bielefeld. Hey, welcome there, Russ. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. We'll have, um, have him back for some instant bargains here in a bit. Kevin, welcome back, sir. Brandon, how are you, buddy? I'm good. One of the few players that's actually managed to play all three seasons of uh, Sale here and done quite well in the first two. I did indeed. In fact, I was the season one champion uh just uh beating out my uh rival here to the right in fact that was the day we met for the very first time yes, it was. And we, as we as we fast forward now a few years later he still hasn't beaten me i'm undefeated against him <laughs> well, hey, hey, hey. hey anything's possible i mean we'll see in the yeah, spirit anything's of things. possible because again, we got we got three great players on this one, so this is definitely going to be a competitive match here. So good luck to you and Russ. Welcome to the show. First time on Sale the Century for you. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, you, uh, min uh minister, uh, what church? Oh, I, I church. Uh, yeah, I used to uh, used to minister in Cincinnati in church on Reading Road, but now I'm mm -hmm. in Newport. Although. Thanks to the pandemic, I haven't actually been inside of a church in a few months, but it's right. all good. Yeah, most, most of us have been stuck at home dealing with this thing, but I feel like we're on the backside of it now. At least hopefully things are going to try to get better as the vaccinations continue to roll out, but we'll, we'll see how that goes here. Good luck to you. Good luck to all three of our players here today, because remember the winner, whoever has the most cash in their bank at the end of our game, will go on to our winner's board and a shot at over $100,000 in cash and prizes. Here, so best of luck to you. So let's go ahead and get you all started here by giving you each $20 in your bank to start. There we go. Questions, of course, are on the buzzer. Get a question correct, you get $5. Get it incorrect, it costs you $5. Along the way, you have a chance to buy instant bargains, a chance at our fame game board. One of you has a chance at our instant cash jackpot. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Right now, we're going to start with our first question here today on Sale of the Century, and it's for $5 for this. What famous singer was nicknamed Old Blue Eyes? Russ. Frank Sinatra. And that is the correct answer, sir. Well done. Five for you. How many seconds are there in one hour? Kevin. 3,600. 3,600 is correct. Well done. Five more for you. You're up to 25. How many strings does a violin have? Nels. Five. No. That has four of them. Four, four strings on a violin there. 
Quick buzz, it cost you five there, down to 15. Who was the American financer who, after being convicted of fraud and money, Nels? Bernie Madoff. Was sentenced to 150 years of prison in 2009. Bernie Madoff is correct, sir. Five dollars more for 20. In what year did the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center take place? Kevin. 2001. 2001 is correct. 30. And with that, it's time for our first instant bargain of the day. Remember, the player in the league gets a chance to buy bargain price merchandise. A sales surprise with a cash bonus could pop up at any time. And as we look at the scores, Kevin, you have the early in this game here. $5 ahead of Rust, $10 ahead of Nails. Maybe interest you in spending some of that money for this. Kevin, just for you, we have a 21 piece cutlery <laughs> Bring out your random chef with this cutlery set, normally priced at $1,345, but today on Sale of the Century, it's yours for only $7. $7. Ah, that's a beautiful cutlery set there, over $1,300 in value. Really, you can get your sh you can sh get your Chef Gordon on in the kitchen with that one. You interested in the knife set there, Kevin? Well, I got a, uh, I got a cutlery, cutlery set not too long ago, so uh, I'm good. You're sure? Okay. Well, how about if I add? How about if I add a little bit of cash to it? How about another four hundred dollars in cash to go with that? Seventeen hundred forty-five dollar deal. And you know what? I'll even do you one better. I'll knock a dollar off the price. Six bucks, and you'll only be behind Russ by one dollar. Buzz in if you want to go for it. Going once. Going twice. No sale. Oh. Not a chance. Didn't want to oh. go for it. All right. Well, no. We'll put the cutlery set back. Maybe somebody else will want to try to buy it later on in the line. Back to our questions with this. What's the name of the man who founded the first blue jeans company in 1853? Nels? Levi Strauss. Levi Strauss is correct, sir. Well done. $5 for you up for 25 How many chambers is the heart divided into? Us. Four. Four is correct. They're up to 30 for you. All right with Kevin. What is a supernova? Cross again. Star. More information. Exploding star. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Exploding star. All right, there you go. Five more for you up to 35. And with that, it is now time for the fame game, players. Uh, this is not for... Uh, money, but this is for a pick of our fame game board where we have prizes, surprises, and most importantly, our money cards up for grabs on this one. We start, as always, with a $510 money card on the board as we look for this famous thing. Famous thing? Buzzing when you think you know it. I am an object. I'm typically found in bathrooms and bedrooms. I can, however, be found in cars and purses. Breaking me brings back <laughs> Russ. Mirror. Mirror is the correct answer, sir. Well done. All right. Yeah, Brigham Me brings bad luck. I help men shave and women put on makeup. I'm very reflective and usually made of glass. So well done, sir. You got that one right, and that means you get a pick of our fame game board. Nine numbers up there. Two of them have money cards behind them. Which number would you like? My lucky number, six. Number six. And behind the number six, we have if the ding, a trampoline worth $899. There we go. Well done, sir. I enjoy that trampoline prize. This is yours to keep no matter what happens the rest of the game. And as we have a very competitive game between the three players, only $10 separates all three of them. And we'll pause for the cause and take this commercial break. Back with more Silver Century right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Sale of the Century. A good game going on between our three players here. Russ is in the lead with 35. Kevin's in the second place with 30. Our champion, Nell, behind with 25. Let's we'll see if we can play catch up here as we continue on with this $5 question. What's London's most famous shopping street? Kevin? Too early. Ah, uh, oh. What's London's most famous shopping street called? It's Oxford Street. Oxford Street there. So, wrong answer cost you five there, down to 25. What color is the S emblem that Superman has on his chest? Nails. Red. 
Red is the correct answer. You got it up to 30. What sport do you compete in if you participate in the America's Cup? Nails. Golf. No, not golf. Sailing. Oh, Sailing is what it is. Ah, dang it. Cost you five there, down to 25. All right, all four members of the Beatles are from what city? Kevin? Liverpool. Liverpool's correct there. Up to 30. Well done. And with that, Bell means it's time for another instant bargain. Russ, you have the lead this time. A short, a small one by only just $5, which means you have a chance to buy this. Russ, how, how about we interest you in a 55-inch LED TV? Ooh. Watch all your favorite shows and sports in style with this 55-inch LED TV, normally priced at $2,000, but today on Sale of the Century, it's yours for only $10. There you go. Ten, buy, buy ten bucks for a 55-inch LED TV, Russ. Could you need a new TV? Oh, can never have enough TVs in this house. Well, okay, <laughs> so, all right. Well, it's worth $2,000. All it's going to cost you is ten bucks. If you buy it, it'll put you in a tie with nails. Only one question behind Kevin, but I don't see you rushing to hit your buzzer. Oh, come on, Russ. I know oh, you are. Nels and Kevin are too tough. I, I don't want to give up. Some, well, I, I, I don't want to fall $5 behind here. Well, okay. Well, I'll, t I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. One time only, because I normally don't even do it. I don't do this, but I want you to have that TV, and I really want you, you to have it. And you can have it, and all it'll do is put you in a tie with Kevin. Cost you five bucks. I can cut the price in half. Five dollars for a two thousand dollar fifty five inch TV. Buzzing if you want to buy it. Going once. You're a bad, bad man. Going twice. He's gonna buy. All right. Well done, sir. Enjoy that TV. Again, that's yours to keep no matter what happens the rest of the game there. So we knock the five dollars off your total. You are in a tie with Kevin. Nell's only one question back in a very tight game. We continue on with this next question. What's the name of the Little Mermaid in Disney's movie? Nels. Ariel. Ariel's correct. A three-way tie. How many lives is a cat said to Kevin? What is nine? A, wrong show. B, right answer. Bring right. the dunks, Cat Famous. <laughs> B, I swear, we're going to have to get one of those made this season if this case happens. <laughs> All right, next question. What number is on the opposite side of a number six on a standard die? Kevin. One. One is correct. There you go. $5 more after 40 And with that, it's time for our second fame game of the day. We have a $10 money card on the board. We're now adding a $15 money card as we look for this famous person. Famous person buzzing when you think you know it. I am a fictional character of stage and screen. I'm from a 1900 Frank Baum story. I was played by Jack Haley in a 1939 movie. I'm a hard man who cares. Russ? The Tin Man? Tin Man is the correct answer. Well done. Oh. Yes, I'm a hard man who carries an axe. I lack a heart but would like to feel emotions, and I'm... In, from the land of Oz. So well done, sir. That yeah, gives you that all important pick of the board. We have a fifteen dollar money card up there. Where is it hiding? Kobe Bryant, number eight. And behind the number eight, we have a nine piece cookware set worth seven hundred dollars. All right, very nice cookware set, sir. So that's yours to keep as well. Again, two great prizes for you. you got the TV, you got the cookware set. $2,700 worth of prizes already in your bank, and you haven't even finished the game yet. So it's a good one going on here between our three players. Let's continue on with this next question for five. What's the smallest breed of dog in the world? Russ? Chihuahua. Chihuahua is the correct answer. There you go. Five more for you. Up to 35. All right, players. What are the three colors of Italy's flag? Nails. Red, white, green. That is correct. Got all three. Up to 35. Uh. In what year was John F. Kennedy assassinated? Kevin? 1963. 
Spot on. Well done. 5 4 for you. All right. What does Homer Simpson do for a living? Nels? He works at a power plant. That is correct there. Ironically enough, he's the safety inspector at that same power plant. <laughs> Needless to say, all the problems are now Simpsons' fault. But I digress. And with the ringing of the bell, that means it's now time for the instant cash prize who look, goes to the player in the lead. Kevin, that's you. You're going to get a chance to play for today's instant cash prize, sir. Two of the boxes over here in our cash room have $100 bills. One of them has our instant cash prize today of $3,000. If you want to play for that $3,000... All it's going to do is going to cost you your lead, which is only five bucks over Nels. Five bucks for a shot at 3000 Buzz in if you want to go for the instant cash. Going once. Going twice. No sale. Oh, oh, I didn't I want to go for wouldn't. it. I knew he wouldn't. I, I, thought, I, thought you, I thought you might have went for it anyway. Not it's sure. too close. Too close? Ah, <laughs> oh, sad face. All right. Well, that's... Uh. Well, if you had decided to go for it, which one would you have picked? Uh, one, of course. Number one. Let's see. Where was? What do you want? Some money? No, it was in. It was in Jason's money boxes, money tree there. All right. Well, I didn't want to have to spend the three thousand dollars on a copyright strike, so you know. Uh, <laughs> copyright strike? What? Uh, I don't think he's got a copyright <laughs> yet, but. We will put that instant cash away and add another thousand dollars to it next time, making it worth four thousand dollars. And we're going to go ahead and pause for the cause, take another commercial break. We'll be back with more sale of the century right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Sale of the Century. A very close game between our three players here. Kevin in the lead with $45. Our champion nails the second with $40. Russ, just one question behind there with $35. A very close game. Let's continue on with this next one for five. In order to win the game of tennis, four points must be scored. The first point is called 15, and the set next is called 30. Kevin? 40. What's the third point called? It is 40. You are correct, sir. Great anticipation there. Up to 50. On a standard traffic light, where would you find the green light? Nels. Bottom. On the bottom is correct there. Five more for you. Up to 45. In our solar system players, which planet is closest to the sun? Russ. Mercury. Mercury is right. There you go. Up to 40 for you. And with that, it is now time for our third and oh, final game, Atlanta. game here. Ten dollars separating all three of our players, and we now have four money cards up there: a five, a ten, a fifteen, and a now a big twenty-five dollar money card. So whoever gets this will have a very crucial pick of the board, and could helpfully help determine who our winner is going to be today. We are looking for a famous place. Famous place, Buzz, and when you think you know it, I am an Asian country. I am home to one of the world's oldest religions. I contain a world-famous, beautiful building. I have the second largest population of any country. And that's Russ. India. India is correct, sir. Very good. Oh. Very little information. I am my car, Russ. That's all I'm asking for. Partitioned in 1947, fight over the neighbor of the Caspian region, and the birthplace of Mahatma Gandhi. So... Indeed. Russ, a chance to take the lead if you could find a money card up there. Four of them up Fire. there. Which number Don't would you like? It. All right, Jason, give it to me. The money tree. <laughs> it's bound to happy. Behind the number three, we have a frozen <laughs> margarita machine. Wow. We're $700. <laughs> Wow. Well, and again, another great prize. And again, that's yours to keep no matter what happens for us. I believe this is the first time this season that we've managed to go all three fan games and not find a single money card up there, which I'm quite, yep. I, which I'm kind of shocked to see. But let's see. Where I, they know. I, I was, I'm glad he did pick one, to be honest. Well, let's see where they where the money cards were. Jason, where were they all hiding at? Oh, if you really wanted the money cards, you'd have had to go to number four to find the 10. You'd have had to go to number five for the 15, and number one had the 25. All right. All right, so that's where they were. And now we're going to finish up the game with our speed round. May I please have 60 seconds on the clock, please? All right, rapid-fire questions from here on out. Players, each one that you get right, get you five. Each one you get wrong, cost you five. 
And um, first one with the most cash in their bank at the end of the 60 seconds wins and goes on to our winner's board. Remember, the time will not start, and you will not be able to buzz in until I completely finish reading the first question. So good luck to you. We finish with the speed round with this. A network of paths designed as a puzzle to find a way from start to end is called what? Russ. A's. Right. What's the largest U.S. state? Kevin. Alaska. Right. What are the words that describe nouns called? Kevin. Pronouns. Wrong. What do you call people who grow crops and manage animals on their land? Russ. Numbers. Right. Nana is a nickname for what family member? Nels. Uh, Grandma. Right. A long, narrow, open container for feeding farm animals is called what? Russ. Boss. Right. What kind of food is lox? Nels. I pass. Time. What's more east, Ohio or Indiana? Nels. Indiana. Wrong. Construction workers wear this kind of hat in construction areas. Kevin. Hard hat. Right. If someone spills a secret, you say they might let what animal out of the bag? Kevin. A cat. Right. What does UV stand for? Russ. True violet. Right. In baseball, which pitch in time? Oh. Kevin, you actually buzzed My. in. You buzzed in for that last question. I'll repeat what I'll repeat as far as what I said to when you buzzed in. In baseball, what pitch is? Fastball. No, I'm sorry. It's a strike. And with that, rip, Russ, you are today's winner. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that, that last, that, that that last oh, second oh, buzzer, I think, caught, caught you early, Kevin, because you're trying to maybe steal that one at the end. Um, let's go back to the ones you guys did get. Um, what words that are described nouns called? Those are adjectives. Um, what kind of food is lox? That is smoked salmon. Oh. Ohio is more east than Indiana is. Um, and the question I didn't get to finish there at the end. In baseball, what pitch is over home plate that swung at but missed? Called. Uh. And that's a strike there. And unfortunately, that cost you, Kevin. And Rush, you are our big winner of the day. Congratulations to you. I'll talk to you again here in just a second. Nels? You had a pretty good run, sir. I, I, I have fun. I have fun. I know you, you did. You didn't. You didn't pick up any more um, no. prizes today. But we will multiply the cash in front of you by twenty-five, and you leave us here with your uh, as your run as champion with a grand total of nineteen thousand forty dollars for the season. Congratulations to you. I'll be back. So I will. And Kevin. I thought I, I, I oh. thought we were going to go to a tiebreaker at the end, but your buzzer lit up right before the clock hit zero, so we ha I had to call upon you. I read the question up to the point where you had buzzed in there to make it as fair as I could to you, but unfortunately, it cost you, cost you the game on that one, but you're not leaving here empty-handed, sir. We multiply the cash in front of you by 25, and you start off the season here with a nice total of $1,375. I, I appreciate it. No problem. And Russ, you did it, sir. You It was very close, but you managed to do a lot of shopping and you picked up some great prizes off the fame game board. You picked up a trampoline. You got yourself a brand new TV, a cookware set, the frozen margarita machine. So far, without even playing the bonus round, sir, you've won yourself a grand total of $4,229 prizes so far. And we're going to see if you can add to that when he gets a shot at the winner's board, and we're going to go take care of it right now. You ready to play? Ready. Let's do it. Let's go to the winner's board. Come on. Go get him, Rob. All right, sir. You got yourself $60 in your bank, so that's going to you to buy one of the prizes from our $60 lot. And Jason's going to be here to tell us all those great prizes. Jason? Russ, if you match prize number one, that's a pool table worth $3,600. Prize number two is a scoop coop worth $69.87. Prize number three is a baby grand piano and 10 one-hour lessons. Match the trip, it's a trip to New York City. Match the Walt Disney World cards, it's a trip to Walt Disney World worth $10,000. Match the cards, a Porsche, a Boxer, and... Match the Jeep, it's our Jeep Grand Cherokee worth $30,000. 
Find the three lock cards, Russ. You win everything, plus a jackpot of $65,000 for a total of $194,156 today on Sale of the Century. Wow, a big lot there. Almost $200,000 in cash and prizes can be won on this uh, winner's board here, sir. But also, I should tell you, there are three $10,000 bonus cards up there on the board as well. If you can find match those three as well, you'll pick up an additional $10,000 in cash along with whatever prize that you match as well. So, with that said, let's uh, take the sign out of here, Seamus. All right, let's get right to it, sir. Here's how we play our bonus round. It's the winner's board from the from this series show. You start picking numbers. The first set of prizes that you match is what you get to take home. And then we'll make I'll make an offer at the end to see if you want to keep it. But we'll we'll talk about that when you get there. Personally, I'd rather you find all three lot cards and just win it outright right here and now without having to do anything. So let's see if you can do it, sir. When you are ready, best of luck. Start picking. Good luck to you. All right, let's start with my lucky number six again. And behind the number six, we have the trip to Walt Disney World. All right. Trip to Walt Disney World, so that's one of the matches there. All right, I haven't been down there in 17 years. I'd love to go back. Let's see if I can find it under number eight. Number eight. And behind the number eight, we have prize number one. That's the pool table. All right. Um, <coughs> N. Number 10. And behind the number 10, we have... It's got, the, number one. It's got the pool table. Well done. All right, that's a beautiful mahogany pool table with accessory package there. That's worth $3,600, Russ. That pool table can be yours. You can take that home right now, or I'll let you give it back to me and you can keep playing. But no matter what the next prize is that you match, that's what you're taking home. So, again, it's a great prize. If you want the pool table, it's yours. All you got to do is say you want to keep it. But I'll give you a minute to think about it. Take a commercial break. We'll be back in this decision. Ready for this? Well, back here on sale the century here. Russ is our new champion here. And he has won himself a nice prize on our winner's board here. It's a mahogany pool table again. Valued at $3,600. Can be his but only if he decides to keep it. You have pretty much only have uncovered one Walt Disney World card up there, so that's the only thing you're worried about matching. Otherwise, it's still barely an empty board, sir, so the choice is yours. You want to keep that pool table, or you want to give it back and try to win everything? Well, considering that the pool table is the least expensive prize on the board, I can only go up from here, so I will give that back and keep picking. All right, he's going to give it up. Fair enough. Good luck to you. Hopefully you match something, match all the lot cards and take home everything. So when you're ready, keep picking. Good luck. All right, let's try lucky number seven. Number seven. And behind the number seven, we have the loot. loot. There's loot. one of the lot cards, sir. Two more. You're taking home over $194,000 of cash prizes. Unlucky for some, 13. Lucky for some, will it be lucky for us? Behind the number 13, we have the warrant. Oh, 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 oh my. All right, one more lot card, sir, and you're taking home everything in a one and done situation. Where's the last lot card at? Come on, find it. Number four. Number four. Let this be a lot card. I want to see a one and done winner just like that. What do we have? Behind the number four, we have the car. Oh, uh, that's that Porsche boxer worth over $50,000. It's, wow. it's more expensive Jiminy than our features car. So, a lot of good prizes up there, sir. Tic tac toe, number one. Number one, diagonally. Would we really make it that easy? Could Again. we? Again, yes. For everything, what's behind number one? Behind the number one, we have prize number three, the baby grand piano. Yes, a nice prize there. Not a match yet, so keep picking. 
All right, let's uh, let's try the triangle number eleven. Number eleven, hoping that's the lock card. Behind the number eleven, we have ten thousand dollars <laughs> in cash. All right, one of our bonus cash cards. All right, so that's one of them. Find two more of those, you get ten thousand plus whatever prize you match. So. Still no match yet, All right. so keep picking. How, how, about, how about the others? Under end for tic tac toe, number nineteen. All right, trying to keep it on that same line there. Nineteen, move this the other lot card. What do we have? Behind the number nineteen, we have the trip. That's that trip to New York City. Again, still no match yet. All right. Oh my God. Number five. Number five. I'm gonna go to the upper right hand corner. Hopefully, this is the one that gives them everything, sir. Number five, what do we have? Behind the number five, we have... The Trip oh, to Disney World! World. <laughs> yeah, somebody has finally won that trip. Congratulations, sir. You are off to Walt Disney World. You and a guest will fly around trip to from Los Angeles to beautiful Orlando, Florida for a seven-night stay at the Walt Disney Resort. Round room and food, beverages included with this great trip, valued at 10 thousand dollars well done you can't give it back because he's supposed to take it <laughs> yeah first time we somebody's actually won the trip and is going to be taking it home this season true well well done sir that's a great that's a great trip we put that ten thousand dollar trip along with everything else you've won in this episode russ you are a one day champion now here on the show a grand total of fourteen thousand two hundred ninety nine dollars so congratulations to you Thank you. All right, wasn't able to quite give away the lot today, so we're going to add another $5,000 to our jackpot, making it worth $70,000 next time we play here on Sale of the Century. But that's going to do it for us. We thank you all so much for watching another fun-filled episode. If you want to see more of the season, check out the full playlist here on the channel. And if you want to subscribe and see the other great game shows we do here, past, present, and future, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until the instant bargains come our way once again, we try to give away some more cash and prizes. I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Sale of the Century. Take care. Bye for now, folks. All the prizes used on sale this century are manufacturer suggested retail price accurate as a time of take. This is Michael Jensen speaking. Sales of the Century is an MGG production.